Cairo and Khartoum are showing strong will to overcome their differences. In a joint press conference held on Monday, President el-Sisi and President al-Bashir stressed on their desires to eliminate all causes of tension between both countries. There is strong political will to cooperate on resolving any problems that appears between the two countries and to work on constructive files that meet the benefits of both countries and both nations. We are in a decisive time in our history. Our region is suffering from crisis. More approach and cooperation is needed for us to face this crisis. Just by opening room for talks about Halayeb and Shalatin, that is a great achievement to solve the crisis. There are three options on the table. To negotiate, to resort to an international court, or to create a joint development area in Halayeb and Shalatin, which may be the best option to end that file. Egypt and Sudan say they will enhance land, river, sea and air transportation between the two countries to enhance trade and people travel. Some critical files are still standing in the way, though, among them Ethiopia's Grand Renaissance Dam. The Nile River represents life for both nations. We agree to continue working together with our brothers in Ethiopia and reach a partnership over the River Nile that will benefit all without harming any side. There is progress in the relations, but it must be a steady progress. In the past years, tide vibrated from positive to negative, which has sent wrong messages to the people of both nations. There must be no way to go down that road again. During their joint statements, both presidents have not mentioned Halayb and Shalatin border area the sovereignty of which has been in dispute in recent years, nor has been Egypt's ties with South Sudan and Eritrea. Sudan must understand the necessity for Egypt to build strong ties with South Sudan and Eritrea. Egypt never wanted Sudan to split into two countries. But as it happened, Cairo must respect that and deal with these two countries without causing any harm to Sudan. There is still a lot to be discussed and resolved between both countries. El Sisi and al-Bashir will lead the talks of their committees later this year in Khartoum. And both presidents seem determined to find a solution to all hanging problems. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.